What's good sports gamers and today I'll be going over with you how to have full control of your runners on the base pass and what to look for in terms of being aggressive or not so you don't end up with two runners on second or thrown out by 100 feet in MLB The Show 22. So all right, let's get it. First off, let's start with a basic runner on first situation. When you get a guaranteed hit with your batter, your runner's automatically gonna go to the next base, so no worries here. It's when their potential for more is when things get interesting. And there's two ways to control your runners. First, you can begin to control base runners and telling them where you want them to go by aiming the left stick at the player on the base path. For a runner on first, aim it at where he's at and the game will tell you when you've done so by having it highlighted. Now from here, you can tell him if you want him to advance another base by tapping on the next base in his path. So if he's going to first, hit the second base icon on your controller, which is triangle on PlayStation and Y on Xbox controllers. You can even have him skip a base and tell him to go straight home by hitting X or A if you're on Xbox, and it will then tell him to go home. Now if you told him to let's say go to second and there's more time than you thought, you can then do the same process and now tell him to go to third. Whatever you tell the base runner to do doesn't mean you're locked into it the whole play. You're constantly going to be making adjustments on the fly, so be prepared. Now if you told your runner to advance to the next base and it looks like you're definitely not going to make it, you make sure his circle is highlighted and tell him to stop at the next base or go back to the base he just came from. This trips a lot of people up and it will just continue to send their runner on a mission to get tagged out. Don't do that, y'all. Now, when you're working with multiple runners is when things can quickly go left. But honestly, you're just going to be doing what you would do if it was just one runner on, just twice. Having multiple runners on, you're going to run into situations where you're able to steal second or third, more times second, because of the attention the guy running home will have. And to do this after telling your lead runner to go home, aim your left stick at the guy you want to run the second or third and hit the base you want him to advance towards. Now this move you're not done after you hit the button to steal second or third. You have to be aware of if your opponent ignores home and throws to the base you're running to or the cutoff to throw you out. Which then, like I mentioned before, you make sure the runner is highlighted and tell him to stop at the base in front of him and if he's past it already, go back. You see here, if they throw it to the cutoff or second, which they do, I know first base is where I need to retreat back to and was ready as they didn't allow me to steal an extra base. Some situations like this where it's pretty obvious they're not going to go home because I'm almost guaranteed to score, it's not worth it to try and steal an extra base. Now I'm going to go over the advance all function, which you activate by holding L1 on your PlayStation controller and LB on Xbox which will tell everybody you have on base to advance to the next bag. There's a few spots where this will be useful. On 50-50 balls in the outfield where the game isn't sure the fielder is going to catch it, but you can skip all that and hit the left bumper to tell your runner to advance a base anyway. These situations are rare, but you will start to develop a gut feeling on certain plays that the game's programming won't have and you can override these type of situations. There's also tag up situations from the outfield if you have a single player on first, second, or third. Hitting the left bumper will let them tag up and advance to the next base on the catch. And if you're at the plate and the pitcher throws a wild pitch or any throw to the catcher and they misplay it, hitting LB will tell the runner on first to advance up a base quick and easy. Also on 100% hits into the gaps or down the line, just holding advance all Saves you a lot of time where at this point all you want to do is just tell everybody you have on base to go, go, go. And as long as you're holding the advance all, once they turn to their next bag, they will automatically go to the next one. Strictly using advance all does have limitations that since runners only advance a base once they actually touch the bag ahead of them, you're going to have situations where if you hold it a bit too long, you end up with a guy going that you didn't want to try and get an extra base and by the time you realize it, you're in a rundown which is when you're gonna have to manually clean up any type of mistake you have on the base path by aiming your left stick at wherever the base runner is located on the diamond and telling him to continue to a base or to retreat. Now generally you wanna advance the base when the ball drops in front of the outfielder if you're already rounding the previous base by the time the outfielder picks up the ball. 
hit to the Warner track if you haven't rounded the base by the time the outfielder picks the ball up you only want to advance with guys with a little bit of speed to them a situation like this with his four speed and not even rounding third yet he would have been out by a mile same situation here I actually would have continued to go on this one with 82 speed base runner and he was already around third when the cutoff guy got it. But these general rules will help avoid you getting thrown out by a mile less often. Now to steal bases there are a couple ways. While the pitcher is getting ready you simply tap the left trigger button on your controller and it will activate a steal attempt and the computer will take off for you when the pitcher begins their windup. The second is holding the left trigger button and letting go way before the pitcher begins his windup and you will attempt an early steal attempt. And third is holding the left trigger button and letting go right when the pitcher begins his windup to simulate you timing it. Because if you hold it all the way, he will not run. Now the most effective way is the first one I went over, which is tapping the left trigger button and letting the computer go for you. But to get a better jump, you want to hold the left bumper button after tapping left trigger or L2 on your controller to get a great jump on the pitcher without having to get a good lead. And to lead off the base, you hit LB or L1 on your controller. And to retreat, hit RB or R1. You're only ever going to need to take one step off the bag because after that, your likelihood of getting picked off increases like crazy. And make a note, the faster the guy, the more you're able to steal without taking any leads. And there are different types of slides you can perform. To go in feet first, you aim the right stick down while you're pulling into the back. To perform a head first slide, you hold the right stick straight up. To hook left, you aim the right stick left. And to hook right, you aim the right stick to the right. When making sure you're coming in safe, you're going to want to slide opposite of where the ball is coming in from. So when stealing second or coming in the second, you want to hook right away from the path of the ball to increase your likelihood of not getting called out on the base pass. So all right, sports gamers, I hope this video was able to help you out. I felt I take pride in limiting making dumb mistakes on the base pass. Some games I may not hit, some games I may not have my pitching, but I'm gonna try my best to be smart on the base pass and I wanted to show you all what I know and the hope to help you decrease your mistakes on the base pass as well. And I hope this video was able to do the job. And if you like the content we provide, make sure to subscribe to Sports Gamers Online for more MLB The Show 22 content. And once you're with us, hit that bell icon at the bottom so you don't miss anything we put out. All right, people, I'm Chris from Sports Gamers Online. Thank you all for watching, and be good, y'all.